Hey Glam Dolls, this is Monty with another episode, another video for you, showing you how I make lip balms out of my lip gloss base. And if you haven't checked that video out, go check out episode two. No, episode three of um how to make lip gloss base. I think it is episode two. Um, and this particular time I'm going to be using that same recipe, the same method of putting those waxes into the double boiler. And, um, instead of putting it in the freezer, this time I'm going to use the liquid and put the micas into the liquid. And so I hope that y'all enjoy this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss none of my videos. Okay. Here we go. Put the liquid in there, and then we're gonna put some micas in there to see what colors we get. So it's gonna just do. And then, and then we're gonna pour it into the um, lip gloss containers. And see what colors we get. And, this, and if you haven't seen my lip gloss base, which is not my recipe, but I did tweak it with putting jojoba oil and putting, um, and you know, this was solidified because it has the wax with putting all of the different things in there. So let's see which kind we're going to do. So guys, I lost a lot of my footage. Um, good thing I have my tripod now, so we shouldn't have that problem anymore. But right now I'm just gonna do a voiceover because a lot of the footage um it's you're not even gonna even really see it so um i'm going in with the micas i'm also going to be doing um a bubblegum flavor a cotton candy flavor and so what you do is um after you've liquefied your wax lip gloss base which i use the same thing the two um teaspoons of uh candel candelia wax and carnauba wax and then all of the different oils um which like i said go look at my other video and you will see that it's the same exact premise um after that i pour it into those little um containers little pretty much um glass bowls and then after that i'm gonna go and put the mica and i'm gonna mix the mica um, and I use the candy floss, which is like a pink. And then I use like a purple as well, too. And then I put some um, like glitter flakes in there. You can get all of that stuff on TKB Trading. I got um, some of my micas on Etsy. Um, it's a lot of like vendors that sell stuff on Etsy as well. And um, those micas were, were pretty cheap. And so that's what I pretty much um, was doing. And then I'm going to go in with the cotton candy flavor. And I'm going to go in with the bubblegum flavor. So guys, this is where I thought that y'all could see what I was doing, but y'all couldn't. So what I did was put the micas in there and then I'm mixing it up with this particular base. It is going to solidify really, really fast. So what I had to do was after I put the micas in because it started getting to be a jelly, um, you know, type of consistency, which would have been hard to put into the diamond um, little bomb containers. I put it back on the double boiler after I put the micas in there. So it was a pink, um, a pink color. It was like, kind of like a jelly type form, almost a, a, a lick, not even a liquid consistency, but it was like, um, you know, a solid form. Like if you mix something, it was like that. So I put it back on the double boiler so that it would be easier for me to um, transfer it into the containers. So what you see me doing is just mixing, as you see the jelly consistency. Um, after that, I'm going to put it back on to the double boiler and then I'm going to use a pipette to um put it into those little lip gloss containers that's one tip that i would tell y'all when y'all doing y'all lip balms and making y'all um lip gloss lip balms the pipette is really easy to transfer the um liquid into those little containers and so um make sure that you put it on the double boiler though because it is going to get into like a jelly consistency and um 
pretty much that's what I did. And once I was able to get it back into that liquid form, um, I was able to get it into the uh, lip gloss bases or whatever like that. And so that's pretty much what I did. I'm just mixing up. I did three different colors. I did a purple one. I did a, um, a pink one. That's the pink one. That's the bubblegum one. Then I did a purple one. That one is the cotton candy flavor. And then I did a, a vanilla one as well. And so... Um, I really love the little containers that were diamond shaped. You'll see them at the end, the diamond shaped little um, containers. You can find them on my website. They're called Glam Bombs on TrueBeautyGlams.com. And um, pretty much this is the, the gist of a, the whole um, video. This was a really simple um, process. Um, and so, like I said, put all your carrier oils in there, put all of your, um, jojoba oils, your grapeseed oil, and all of those things in the liquid, in the wax form when you're doing your wax flakes or whatever. I don't use beeswax. I use candelilla wax and I use carnauba wax. And those waxes are vegan. And then I put the grapeseed oil and all of the different oils. Like I said, check out my video where I thoroughly go in detail. And I also have the recipe on my website. Uh, not my website, excuse me, y'all. I have it on my video, that particular video, episode two, how to make your own lip gloss base or DIY lip gloss base. I believe that's the name of the title. And so, um, pretty much that's, that's it. And I made the purple. The purple is really pretty. Um, I put it on my lips. It's very hydrating. It's very moisturizing. And Enjoy yeah, I love it. This video until next time, um, make sure y'all comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, uh, and TikTok. And I thank y'all for watching. Love y'all. And always remember to keep God first. I love y'all glam dolls. Smooches.